what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about the exorcist trilogy or blumhouse's exorcist franchise or whatever you want to call it that they have going on because it's in shambles ever since believer came out we're going to be talking about the exorcist anyway we got a very huge bombshell report tonight courtesy of jeff snyder who has proven himself to be reliable in the past and that report is related to a gentleman who is very deserving of this opportunity mike flanagan who reportedly according to jeff is in talks to come in and take him over from david gordon green and his team who just brought us that again it wasn't completely abysmal but that more than less satisfactory exorcist believer and then we're not going to get deceiver we don't have to worry about getting bottom feeder because according to this newsletter report dr sleep director mike flanagan recently wrapped his 11 feature and jeff goes on to say that's right he hears that flanagan is in talks to direct the next movie in exorcist in the exorcist franchise for blumhouse and universal pictures he goes on to say when i received this initial tip this morning it was that flanagan would be taking the helm of the exorcist Dele deceiver as well as the third film in the trilogy that Blumhouse had originally planned. However, while confirming Flanagan's involvement with a second source, I was told that the writer-director would be doing his own thing with the franchise rather than inherit the lame duck sequels to last year's The Exorcist Believer, whose director David Gordon Green waved the white flag in January. Blumhouse owes Universal two more Exorcist movies, but it would be tr but it would truly make little sense for universal to green light not one but two sequels to a movie that prompted a poor response from audiences yet the studios shelled out hundreds of millions for the rights to the exorcist and still expects a return on that hefty 400 million investment thus it makes a lot of sense that universal would empower blumhouse to go out and hire one of the top genre directors in the business and commit to that filmmaker's creative vision rather than voice greens upon them so here's the thing the exorcist believer again i was one of those people who i was certain it would end up being dog shit and i know there's people out there who still think it is i just think it ended up being something that was passable it was i gave it a six it wasn't as bad as i thought it would be it just wasn't something that is worthy to be standing next to a film as iconic as the exorcist now hearing that mike flanagan is reportedly in talks makes me very excited because i just got done on sunday talking about how mike flanagan constantly has been having these opportunities to dabble in these bigger ips ripped from him or they don't work out we've seen that with friday the 13th that didn't work out nightmare on elm street granted i don't really think he's ever had a fair opportunity there and then the i know what you did last summer pitch that i was talking about on sunday so now he has the exorcist in front of him and i hope he gets this i hope this is confirmed i hope he signs on because he just did this with ouija in the 2010s the first ouija was trash then we got ouija origins of evil highly more effective way more brilliant than the first movie so to see him come in and save this exorcist trilogy granted according to jeff it's going to be his own thing he's not going to be doing any follow-ups to believer I cannot wait to see what this turns out to be. I trust that Mike Flanagan can do this. I trust Mike Flanagan to bring in legacy characters if he wants to and use them correctly. Granted, I don't think Mike Flanagan's done going to do that. I think we're going to see a highly memorable Exorcist film featuring stars that have worked with him in the past like he is known to do. And it's going to blow everyone away because that's just what Mike Flanagan does. Mike Flanagan has yet to prove himself to be someone I shouldn't defend like this everything i have watched from this man even the things that i don't necessarily say i want to go back and revisit them all of them are so well made for the most part and well crafted on a technical level even if i again don't want to want to re-watch them because i might maybe don't see as much replay value in this versus that so i cannot wait to see what he does in this film if he signs on and i hope it is true i hope this man gets the job and i hope hope whatever he cooks up with this movie is going to draw more eyes onto mike flanagan mike flanagan deserves this he deserves his flowers he deserves all the praise he gets in the horror community for his contributions to what he has done on netflix with the haunting of hill house blind manor midnight mass and more recently the fall of the house of usher all brilliant things hush gerald's game the way he adapts Stephen King's work, Dr. Sleep, all of these things have made Mike Flanagan someone I have 
immense respect for. I consider him one of the greatest horror directors we have right now. And if he is going to come in and save us from what bottom feeder and whatever deceiver could have been, please come in and do it. I cannot wait to see what happens here. I trust that this will work out. I trust that Mike Flanagan is going to sign on unless he comes out and denies what Jeff is reporting. But again, like I stated, Jeff has proven himself to be reputable. Yes, he's been wrong in the past, but that comes with the territory. Jeff has proven himself to be someone who's not trying to be wrong. He just happens to be wrong from time to time while also being correct a lot more from time to time to time to time as well. I trust that we'll get confirmation on this soon. I trust that Mike Flanagan is going to knock it out of the park. And I trust that this is going to make the exorcist believer look inferior. I wanted to make something rhyme there. And again, this is just a wonderful report to come across tonight because I just finished talking about how Mike Flanagan, if I look at the track record here, he's almost come so close to dipping his toes into these bigger IPs and stretching his wings further and it always didn't work out. And now here's another opportunity. The Exorcist would be a very big opportunity for everybody to finally get an opportunity to see on the big screen, hopefully with a bigger return behind it than what he got for Dr. Sleep, which should have been a hit. Hopefully the Exorcist, whatever he cooks up, is able to be a box office commercial hit critically and it just draws way more eyes to mike flanagan if there's any horror fans out there who are not already hooked to mike flanagan hopefully this movie can get the job done for that or for them on that regard or in that regard so it's just a very exciting news report and when you think about what the exorcist believer gave us in a lot of ways, it's just not going to measure up to whatever Mike Flanagan could cook up. It's just not. Mike Flanagan is very skilled at giving you a hauntingly beautiful tale. It's It can be riddled with romance. It can be equally horrifying. He can even have doses of comedy. The way he can just blend in and out of these genres while still just keeping everything very suspenseful. Or these different tones, I should say. Keeping everything suspenseful and just keeping you on the edge while still again giving you something that's hauntingly beautiful and just sprinkled with romance around it like a lot of his works are i don't know if he will try that with the exorcist i think he might go for a little bit more of the origins of evil that he did with ouija uh but we'll see what he cooks up let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications your name is video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video